Hi, so today I want to give a little comparison of the different planners that are out there. I'm trying to make my decision on 2025, so I thought we could do this together and you can let me know your thoughts. I'm Tammy Inman and this is A Peach Life. And these are my planners for uh, 2025 and 2024 and I think 2023. Okay, so I also thought it'd be really cute to be able to do a size comparison for you guys also. I know many of us um, utilize these different brands of planners, so let's take a look. So my thing is I'm using this year, I'm using the Hobonichi A6, which the cover, this cover was on the weeks and I, I, removed it and cut it up and I sewed it. Oh no, Tommy's here. This is gonna be his new thing, joining as soon as the video starts. He used to a lot, but he's back. Okay, so this is my A6. This is the one I've been using quite a bit this year. It's got lots of little goodies and stuff, but also, Lots of numbers, info, names, contacts, and stuff written down. So I haven't shared as much inside this one as I usually do. But I still do like throw in little, like let's see, creative cuteness along the way. Yeah. Not on all pages, but lots of them. Okay, so that's my A6. That just is one that sits here at my desk that I utilize and I can grab all the time. And then I pulled out my passport. This is Traveler's Company Passport. It's in a little clear cover. And this is my everyday carry. It's in my purse. But I really wanted to have just one that could sit on my desk or I could throw in my purse. I can take with me. Although sometimes I do not like having to go find it and pull it out of my purse but I also like just writing everything in one spot. Although I don't really transfer much of stuff. Let me show you inside my passport. I, I added the weekly and the monthly pages into one passport. I removed the monthly, the cover off the monthly, and then I just sort of tucked it back in here and I added a little book binding glue to the trim, but any white glue really works. And I stuck it in there and I let it dry and I folded it and clamped it closed. And so now I have my monthly with me when I started using that. Okay, so I'm really just been using it for the month of July, I mean August, a little bit of July. And same with my planner here. I just been using little bits, little washi, and um, in an upcoming video I can give a closer look at what I carry inside my passport. But these are the two. And then just a little idea for size comparison. It's not that much, but the little bit it is does make a big difference also in the width. So you can get this in the AVEC, which is the split, January through June, July through December. So I was thinking about doing that so it's less, but um, like I said, I like having everything all in one and I tend to, will need to go back, whereas the Traveler's Company, it's split into two also. So right now I only have July through December. So I put the July through December months in here. It doesn't come with it, but I like it all in one notebook. So this is like my little dilemma. So then I used the Traveler's Company ones before, and it's also the two split for the, for the um, January through June and July through December. So you have two different notebooks, and then you have a third if you wanna do the monthly. So that just sort of doesn't work out wonderful for me. I know people just absolutely love that. And sometimes I just like to have one thing 
And so a lot of times I do think about removing my covers and just binding it and making it into one notebook. And that might be really super great. So we'll see. Maybe I'll do that with Passport this coming year. Just take off all the covers and bind them and make it into one notebook. Now Tom's trying to get into my hutch over there. Okay, so a little size comparison there. And then there is um, this Midori. It's called a mini. And it's in between, it's a little bit smaller than Passport. Some places call it pocket size. Some say Passport size. Uh, I believe on if you look it up for Midori things, it's called a mini. It comes in like B6, Slim, and A6, and um, I have the A6 version. This is the cat's one. So there's like a dog, I believe, and a bird. And again, it's only monthly, so it started working out really great. But then when it was only, oh, and it has also um, the month at a glance. Okay, so it started off great. Little info spot in the back for some notes. But because it doesn't have the weekly, it didn't end up working out. So it's a little bit smaller than the Passport. Um, it might be like an A7 size. Okay, then there's the Midori. Oh, I'm sorry, sorry, scratch that. Moleskine pocket size planner. And I really love this format. This is one of my favorite formats, is the weeks on one side and notes for the other side. I love this so much, but this paper is not fountain pen friendly, so I have to switch or carry two things or bring along. I don't know. I'm looking, I feel like I'm leaning towards pocket this year, and I might start utilizing the moleskin again, I'm just not positive with that switching the paper. And so I don't know if you guys have any of these dilemmas, if you found using this in a pen you love to use with it, or why you love any of these and what kind of works for you. Or do you have a go-to favorite planner that you always utilize or something you're trying this year? I'd love to know your guys' thoughts what you love, why, what works for you, and maybe that will also help other people in the comments to have ideas. So A6, Pocket, Passport, and Mini, which I don't think the Mini is quite an A7. All right, but you can see how these are not much different in size. And yet, I'm gonna take this cover off so that it doesn't give like a false illusion of the size for you guys. Between the passport and the pocket, there's not like much size difference, but it does make a difference in how it feels when you write in it. Same with A6 and pocket. I lean towards the smaller notebooks. I sort of just like the little compact cuteness of them. I'm gonna share the weeks because I give the weeks a go <clears throat> every single year. Every year I have a weeks. And, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm gonna grab my tea. I have my glazed lemon loaf. It's by Tazo. I've shared this in the past. It is just my favorite because it's good iced or as a hot tea. It's so refreshing. Okay. So weeks. Weeks has the format I love and I'll have to show you the formats of these. I didn't do that. Weeks has a format that I love. Again, the days on one side, note taking on the other. I sort of love to run a to-do list or errand list and it and sometimes it doesn't have to be done on a particular day. I just need to take care of it that week. And things I need to take care of on those days can go into the days. I feel like this format is really great, but I would love it in a smaller version because this doesn't fit in most of my purse or handbags. But it is the same format as 
the pocket size. Uh, and this is on the Tomo River paper, which is fountain pen, pen friendly. And this one is not. So there's the dilemma there. Okay, so it kind of goes like that, that, these. And then you have the Hobonichi A6. I mean, I'm sorry, the Hobonichi Cousin. I so apologize. I don't mean to confuse you guys. The Hobonichi Cousin, which is A5. And then, let's see here. It has, I have one with some pages that are blank in it. And so the Hobonichi Cousin, I feel, is like so amazing, but I wish they would make it in A6 size, and then that would be the Goldilocks for me of planners, because then you have the daily, you have the weekly pages, and you have the monthly pages. Oh, that would just be such a dream, but in a smaller format size. These I use really for my creative art journals. Okay, but that would be an absolute dream to have the cousin, Hobonichi cousin, and all that it has in it in an A6 size. So the A6 size is missing the weekly. It has the monthly and it has, um, I'll show back further the daily but I would love it to have a weekly I don't know why that's not an option okay and then the weeks has the monthly option which is really nice and then it has the the week at a glance which is perfection I would choose this over daily and then in the back you have your extra pages and you can get the the option of the one that has the more pages in it the little mega okay and then the travelers company has the monthly and it also has the weekly like vertical or horizontal and I really feel like this was like working so great. I loved it so much. It's just big. That's the only thing for me is it's just big. If they made the passport one, <laughs> oh my gosh, in the same format, but they don't. So let me show you. The weekly is completely different. And I know it's small, so they might not be able to get all the the week on one side, but I think they could do it. And it would be great. And then this side be notes. Let me flip to, let me flip. Do I have a page that I didn't write on? I feel like maybe this one I gave up by the end of the year. Yeah. So you have that. And you have this. Let's go. Let's go to everybody for a minute. Okay, so on the standard, you have the daily um, on the left side, and then you have this side, the grid for notes. It also comes, like I said, vertical or horizontal, you can choose. I really like this format. And then I wish that it was like that in the passport. It would be, oh my gosh, it would be perfection because then it had the weeks with the notes, with fountain pen friendly paper. And even though the month was not in it, I could just add the month in the back like I do. It could be so perfect for the size, but anyhow, that is not the case. It doesn't have it. And like I said, the standard, it was, it really was working out. Um, the format was working out really, really great for all that I needed except for it was just for me too big to carry around and have with me. Okay, so there is the look. I'll bring this one back in since it's not as bulky. This guy, oh, this guy's getting real, he's real bulked up. Okay, so there is a look at how they are. 
This one's just so cute, the way the pages are decorated with all the little cat stuff. I love it so much. Um, and it's, you know, it's just already decorated for you, which is so cute. And it comes with this cover and it comes with a little pen slot, which is nice. Okay, here they are in sort of order of size. So I'd love to know your guys' thoughts, or here's the other thing. I know a lot of you guys are really great about finding these other companies like on Etsy and so on that have um, notebooks and things. I think Create With Pen is one of them. Uh, 1407, some of these things, I, uh, a couple of them I've, I had, but I never really utilized them well enough. So if you know of a company that has a pocket or passport size that has the weekly, like the Moleskine does, um, on one side, notes on the other, that's fountain pen friendly, Oh, I would love to know about that for 2025. And I'm thinking I would like it in either pocket or passport size. And I know I always say like Midori uh, Notebook A6 is my Goldilocks. And it really is my Goldilocks. It's my Goldilocks for my art journaling and for my writing. And in my Hobonichi notebooks, I carry more, I keep all my like Midori notebooks. And I'll show that, I've shared it in a past video, I'll share a more current video of that for you guys um, coming up. But my Hobonichi covers don't hold Hobonichis. <laughs> they hold the Midori notebooks. And those really are, so super dreamy. Oh, let me pull out, since I'm saying that, let me pull out, um, where, where are you? Here we go. Since I was just saying about the Midori notebook, I peeled off some stickers off the front. This is the Midori A6 um, planner. And it has it has the monthly up front, which is really nice. I love the way that, how that looks. But this is how the daily is. It's, it's undated, and I know a lot of people love that, but like if there's something, it's like the beginning of the year, if there's something in April I need to mark, I'm not doing that, unless I'm just marking in the monthly section. But it is nice for when you don't utilize every day you can just keep going. I And it doesn't have the lines for the good little note taking and stuff, but then the, the list here is really nice for um, to-dos and things like that. And it gives you a little free section here. As I'm talking to you about it, I'm like, maybe I should give it a try for the remainder of the year. It's got a nice little cover. It comes in different um, different covers, like a hard cover, different things like that. And they do have like a different style as well, uh, like a weekly, like um, grid marked out pages. It's also undated. I like the two different um, ribbons to mark in your calendar for the monthly and the day that you're on. So. I had given it a go. Then I started using it as like a little art journal. And it may continue to that since Midori notebooks I love for art journaling. Okay, so the more I talk to you about this, I am feeling it a little bit. Okay, it's similar in the size and everything as the Hobonichi. A6. Okay, so when I was just showing you that, it gave me a little idea of something I hadn't shared. Let's see, what was that? There's a few blank pages at the end of the mole scheme. Oh, that's what it is. Okay, this is one thing I don't love in the mole scheme is 
the month. I wish the month was the whole page. It's so tiny. So instead, it's July here, August here. It doesn't give you a lot of room, I guess if you're a tiny little writer, to put several appointments and things like that in here. Although you have a note section, it's just, it's not the same. So maybe moleskin is not my goldie locks for things. Okay, so if you guys know, <laughs> looking for months on the whole thing, a weekly like this would be so wonderful. Some extra pages in the back is not a must, but would be so good. Okay, that's what I'm thinking. So I don't know, I'm not, this video, I'm not here to really help you guys other than to show you the little comparison size-wise, um, how they kind of work, but I'm really reaching out to you guys for some help on this and what do you know if you know something like that? I'm really going for pocket size, but I will go Passport or A6 um, if need be. So I'd love to hear what your guys' thoughts are. The date of this video that it will be airing is September 3rd. And so I wanted to let you know the Saturday, September 7th, here in Peachtree City, Georgia, is our meetup. So if you guys are local or Atlanta or something like that, we're having our meetup this Saturday, which is one to four. And then for October, we're having a special meetup, a longer event day, and it's one to seven. And as always, they're complimentary free meetups. And they're here locally in Peachtree City at our Peachtree City Hilton across from like Peachtree. And they give us like a lovely little space. So the October one to seven, will really just be like a come hang out, enjoy, create, have fun and chat. So I look forward to seeing some of you guys there and hopefully some new faces. And I would love, oh my goodness, give me your ideas, throw some links in the comments of a video you might have sharing something, a planner you loved or a link to something you've seen that you loved or come over to my Peach Life group and share info and photos, I really, would love to use your guys' expertise on this one. And hopefully I can find that, that Goldilocks uh, planner, if it exists. Thank you guys for joining me.